Okay, we are here at Lingenfelter Performance Engineering demonstrating our new Nitrous Control Center, NCC001. Go over a little bit of the display screen and some of the information that's displayed on the screen. On the first row, we've got main timer. That timer can be set from anywhere between 20 seconds and 300 seconds. That's an overall system timer and it's just a safety shutdown that once that timer is reached, it shuts all the Nitrous Control System off. Then the next two, uh, next three columns in this first row are the activation, or the arming input, I'm sorry, the clutch input, and the shift input. Currently we just have a connection to the arming input and to the clutch input, and we don't have anything connected to the shift input. Then on the next row you've got nitrous one duty cycle and fuel one duty cycle. And then on the next row you've got nitrous two duty cycle and fuel two duty cycle. Then the next row you've got nitrous bottle pressure, fuel pressure, then the next row you've got engine RPM, vehicle speed in mile an hour, analog input one. Next row you've got TPS percentage, air fuel ratio, analog input two. In the next row you've got battery voltage, analog output voltage, gear position. And then the final row shows you the values for the different switch positions right here. So the global references, this button, the nitrous one is the setup for this button, nitrous two is the setup for this button, and setup is for this button. In other menus, those buttons have other functions, so that's why the descriptions of them are on the display screen. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, arm the clutch input. So you'll see the off switches to on. I'll go back and forth. There's off, there's on. So now we've got the clutch input armed. Now when I go to hit the arming input, the box is now armed and ready to be activated. So now the description buttons above the four programmable buttons have disappeared because those no longer are active. You can't use those buttons. And now when I release the clutch input, the nitrous controller is going to activate. So now what we're doing is a variable duty cycle. So we're going up to 100% and back down again. When they go to 100%, the solenoids obviously lock on and you don't hear them clicking anymore. And you can see the timer at the top there timing down. We've got roughly five seconds remaining, and then the entire system will shut off. And there we go. We've now disabled the system. One of the other things we're demonstrating here is the interface between our nitrous control center and the Lingenfelter LNC2000 launch control and timing controller. By sending an analog voltage out from the nitrous control center that is proportional to the percentage of nitrous duty cycle, and that can be either programmed to be proportional to nitrous one pulse width uh, duty cycle, nitrous two duty cycle, or a combination of one in nitrous one and nitrous two, both stages, or it can be just a programmable ramp versus time. And now that analog voltage output from the nitrous control center goes into the nitro, into the LNC2000 and is used to, to do progressive timing retard. So you can now do progressive timing retard based on the, do, the percentage of nitrous in your progressive nitrous system. And then with the analog voltage output from the LNC2000, you can put that analog input back into the nitrous control center analog input and data log how much timing you're really taking from the engine as you go down the track. So I'll repeat the cycle of running the system again and you'll actually be able to see the amount of duty cycle of the nitrous. You'll see the analog input voltage go up once the timing retard is actually active. The analog output has gone to 5 volts, so we're taking out timing. The analog in is not going active because we don't have a simulated engine RPM signal, so the LNC can't output any data because it doesn't think the engine is running. Here we are with a data log from the Nitrous Control Center. And in this data log, we're showing Nitrous 1 percentage, Fuel 1 percentage, Nitrous 2 percentage, Fuel 2 percentage, the analog output voltage and the analog input voltage. There's additional data that's logged, but we've only put up on the screen to make it easier to see those specific variables that we wanted to show for this video here. The analog out is being done in graph mode, and we're doing a 0 to 5 volts with 4.83 volts or 4.8 volts being indicative of 15 degrees of timing retard. So we're doing time-based 
timing retard. It could also be done proportional to the nitrous up here if we wanted, and then we would actually have the voltage following either nitrous 1, nitrous 2, or a combination of nitrous 1 and nitrous 2. But in this case, what we've done is just put a ramp in for simplicity over six seconds, starting at zero degrees of timing retard here, and then six seconds into it, we're at a full 15 degrees of retard, and it maintains that full 15 seconds until it times out at the end of the run. And then what we've done is we've now got the analog output from the LNC2000, sending an analog voltage back into the nitrous controller, and the nitrous controller is logging how much timing is actually being taken out. With again, zero degrees of timing retard here, and 15 degrees of timing retard here. Here's the timing coming out and going back in.